Hey guys, welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Today, we are going to be searching for what is known as spruce wood. So, if you guys don't know, it is December 2nd. So, last year the um, winter event came out in December. I don't know exactly what day it comes out. So today we're going to search for spruce wood. We're going to be working on our base, cleaning up from Halloween. I was on vacation during Thanksgiving. So... Sadly, unless they're still in the game, it could be. I don't know. Um, I doubt it. But I did not get any of the things good items, sadly. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go check out the stores and see if there's any um, new items or if winter has hit at all. So, first stop is going to be with us. How are we doing with them? So, I don't see anything new. I'm actually going to that down a little bit um yeah there is no nude items they did take the candy bags and everything out from halloween of course that was about a month ago anyways um nothing new anything new on the bulletin board bulletin board to move really red is really red nope so there is nothing new in here in order to check for the other stores, we'll have to wait till it's day. So, first thing we can go do is we can look and see if we can find any blue spruce. So if you don't know, blue spruce can spawn in both in snow biomes only. So during the winter event, I know that there is sometimes snow in the main biome. I obviously don't see any. So I am going to assume that either the event hasn't started, or it has, but the main biome stuff. I have never found blue spruce, so we're gonna take a look. So, in case you guys don't know, blue spruce is looks like the same as a spruce tree, but it has blue leaves. Instead of a regular spruce tree, which you look up like a. If I was to look up a regular. Uh... Anyway, so regular spruce has these green leaves. Blue spruce would have blue. Sp Blue leaves, so that's what we're looking. For. It is kind of hard to see it at night because all the leaves are the same. Like I said, I don't know if it's in or not. We're just gonna take a peek, see if we can find any. It might be too early. I don't know, like, I looked it up, I can't find out exactly what time the winter update comes out. But, worst comes to worst, we don't find any, and we just work on our base today. I would like to clean up most of the base if I can, and get to work on some other stuff. Basically, I want to get blue screws for the roof of my shop. Like, I want to have it be the elm flooring, and have the elm walls with the windows. And then I want it to have blue spruce for the roof. So I don't think the winter event has started yet. It's probably not going to start till maybe the 10th. I would assume. I'll keep an eye out for that. But anyways, let's go ahead and work on the base today. We got a lot to clean up. I got a lot of wires. What the? These are those white Christmas lights. So. Oh. It is Christmas, so I didn't just do anything. Um, so yeah, a bunch of to do here. So I'm gonna put windows on the second floor when I get to that. I'm thinking about maybe if I want to do this. So, um. So like, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. 
basically I want to why is this that's fine fine for now um basically what I want to do is right, so this stock's pretty much stacked I'm gonna put pumpkins down the bottom of course so I'm gonna go ahead and load up some pumpkins to put in the shop quick These ones are gonna probably go. So we could also work on the birch building too. Um, we need to finish putting that together. Or get the roof on there. The roof for that is gonna be dark oak, just like this uh, right here. This is actually get taken down. I'm gonna move that into a different file for um, that way for spook season I have a separate file for. Uh, it will make it a little easier to find spooks without having me travel everywhere. And I can maybe use that actually for blue spruce as well. I could uh, basically put it up, look for blue spruce, and then find blue spruce, I can go get it. Um, the only problem is, is I probably actually probably won't be able to use it because, like I said, blue spruce looks exactly like that. The only difference is leaf color so I don't know how well I'll be able to see the blue from the sky so for the second floor I was thinking about maybe doing like so I already have an access point out here but for the second floor of the shop it'd probably be just for more presence and for the time being I could put a ramp so I can load it easier I wanted to anyway take and stuff that will be coming soon right now my main focus is to get the base cleaned up it means get the pumpkins sorted into a truck maybe um get the second floor on the started and get the roof on the other boat start, clean. start clean. I'm gonna close this one. Got pumpkins in there now. I'm gonna go ahead and load up a bunch of this stuff that we found. Back and draw extra. There we go. Throw these in the back there. This truck pretty much full for now. This can just get parked over here for now. This stuff's gonna go on probably a different file or else or a different slot so that way we can just. So we. Um, I'm just checking something. So we still have six slots. I know that one candy bar said like slot seven or whatever. Um, 
I'm thinking maybe that will be the next, maybe a New Year's thing. I don't know if they get a new update or not. Um, let's see here. Do I have any more birch wood? I do some. Grab. Grab some. What? I think I can. Oh. Um. Another piece. What we'll do is we'll get these two up. Idea of what all needs to be done over here on this building yet. Oh. Need another piece there. We need a water wall, um, ceiling roof, ceiling tiles. We need to do that and two post. This is just for our spook storage, which is incredibly full. We need to probably condense that down a little bit. This is for a garage door. Um. I don't think we're gonna be able to put any windows in here just because of the way it's designed. So that's there's more. Oh, okay. Grab a piece, and then we'll we'll finish we'll finish the wall here. Ooh, I do have some LMAP. so we're gonna go ahead and get the roof done as well. Out here, we're going to turn this on. Go ahead and spot a truck in. We'll, we'll go ahead and get some home with it. So we're going to get some wood. Perfect. Start sawmill. Perfect. Okay, cool. While that's doing that, we'll go ahead and finish the birch part of it. Okay. Maybe we can work on the door to make garage door. Always funny. We also need one of these two posts. Should be enough. To There. All right, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so I can put this post. There. Okay, so should have all the walls done. Except for this one right here, where the garage is going to be. So, I'm going to actually cut this down and get this out of the way. Elm tree is a bit in the way. Elm tree. Over. Um. So. I'm trying to think what I want to do. We're going to take this and move this out of here. We're going to. We're going to need some more. Bruce actually. Boy. Oh, I got a little bit. That's a little thin. Oh. Um. 
grab this one. Actually, you know what? Do I still have my private server? I do. Is Hold on. I'm actually gonna turn that off so that it expires. Um let's go ahead and go to our private server. This way maybe it's a little bit less laggy. And it might be a little bit easier to work on it. So now we're in the private server. Actually we're gonna go to go During the Christmas, um, the winter update, by the way, I'm pretty confident they put some ice patches from um, like near the bridge and stuff. So that actually might be the way to go if you want to get um snow glow wood. So, like, I don't know if that's the only time of the year you're able to get snow glow. I know that I've been able to get it other times of the year. It's a little harder to do. I mean, some people do the plank method. Some people do the window glitch where you do this to freeze your screen you did they fix that you used to be able to right click your screen up there and go to freeze it it's not working anymore oh Patch that. Well, that stinks. Still have this one. Anyways, um, okay, back to what we were doing. They're making the doors for the wait then for this. Okay, so we're gonna need to truck. We do have another piece for only. So would make about doors for and it would fill these doors. Oh yeah, it's a lot less laggy. Oh let's see. That server must that other server must have had a little bit of lag from in this base. Um Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and try to put this door together. So, we take this, put it here, next one, flip it, put it there, open these, take this one, put it here. Um, what if we did that? this that there if we put these together perfect so if we take these open. okay so that opens up um what if we open we were technically both closed. Both open right now. Over. So, what we need to do is.
basic little sprite. This one. We can do the same with this one. So can we take these though? Yeah. Cool. So what we're gonna wanna do is Need another piece. We'll just grab both feet. Eat. Both of them. So <clears throat> we're gonna make a bunch of posts quick. We're gonna make a bunch of posts. Put that up the roof so that way it looks better. And then we're going to actually see if we can redo the door over by the roof. That way it's a little bit more flush. Because I don't like that little... I don't like the bottom that we have there. If you look at the bottom there, I don't like how it's sticking out like that. So we're going to actually take those doors out and try to redo it. But it doesn't have that issue. one all right so that's kind of rotated so all right all these So these three you can actually move over here. You might need them over here. Just because I know that um that door has that gap underneath. So we got those put doors put in. So we're gonna go ahead and take this door out. And we need to put these in here. Alright, perfect. So put you here. Open. This one. Up here. Open that one. We need to make one more door. Put that there. Open that one. One too far. There. And I'm I want to make sure it's out. This one gap over. Okay, so it is identical. Oh, you know what to do. Over here. Okay. That there. Open that. Perfect. Take this door. There. Close that. That. Close that. Close that. Close that. Close that. Close that. Last one. We'll go ahead and go from left to right. I always do. And open. Look at that. Okay, so we got the big garage door done. That looks good. All right, so we're gonna throw these in the back of the truck. Do a U-turn up here. Um, 
I might just do like extra storage for the shop over here actually. But we'll have to see. I might throw you have here. I gotta finish the lighting in the ceiling here. Um Okay, so we're gonna take this out of here. And we got four flat doors. We're gonna put this in here. Get this one out of there. Okay, so this one's actually gonna be our first one we're gonna do. So put this. So if we move this out of the way. So that's how big we so that's how big we're gonna want it. What we can do is we rotate. It kind of encloses this space a little bit more. And what I might do is I actually might just enclose this into gap right. There we go. So that's enclosed. I have the two doors there. But actually, so move this. So that's already actually. So open these up. <coughs> we'll make. down here must have been from the truck um so we're gonna actually we'll take these actually we'll put these here way it's not um up down there these can go in the back of the truck See here. That's we're gonna actually use this. We're gonna destroy these. We're gonna make three posts. We're gonna actually grab Out of it quick. So we're gonna just post right between. There we go. I'm gonna take this post and put it on the roof. There. And we need three squares. That way, other. Um, Then open the door, take our second doors. There it is. Rotate it. Line it up here. Like we did on the other one. Slide it in. Open. Take this one. Rotate it. Slide it in. Open. Take our glass door that makes it all go together. Down here. Close. Close, close, close. Edit, edit, edit. Open. Yeah, 
so I was having this issue with the other time. Are one of these doors causing this? What's the difference? Um, do the doors need to overlap? That's a good question. So, so the way I can look at it is look at the door bridge. Let me look at the door bridge quick. If not, I'll figure it out a different day. Um, we are running short on time. Take one more glance. Let me look at the door bridge. Door bridge might be able to help me. Let me close this. So I got a small gap on the door bridge actually. So um I know how I did that. I did that with So we're gonna actually revisit this a different day. So basically well, you know what? I'm gonna take a few minutes here and try to fix it quick. So, the way I did that one is I used a small blueprint like this, or a tile, I should say, and I laid it down here and I placed the door on top. So, I'm gonna grab the doors quick. We're gonna move them. We're gonna to try to fix it. So, if I take the door, we're not in the right spot. And I lay it on top of this, like that. Take the blueprint. Up there, open this quick. Rotate that, and then we've got the same thing. So, the issue comes that for these, I'd have to move these and replace them. And I may not be able to get them in there, depending on the way the door fit. So. What I did, oh, so okay, we can move that over here. Perfect. So, what I did the last time was try and think. Let's move these in. So it would be moving like when I have enough room, I see how it barely overlaps. Overlaps by barely. So Trying to think. Um, what I could do is put the door on the top. What if I placed it like this and I opened it this way? I could technically those in there, right? Doors on the way. Yes, so I can put those in there then. I don't want to put one though because now this door is gonna be in the way when I try to place this door, right? Yeah, see that's the issue running into. So. Close the door. Close this one. Even though they're technically glitched together. So. This is going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. So, like, we got the little gap down there. But I'm trying to make it flush. Without making it a mess. So. It's weird how this one once flushed the ground. 
But those doors overlap each other, don't they? So like, if I move this one, they overlap. So, what if I was to destroy this, move this door, and then overlap them. Then they overlap perfectly. So we can open that one. This one here overlap. We put the glass door there now. I want to test this before I put the other two on. But if I am to move this here, that does work. And if I in here, okay, cool. So. Make sure both these are open. Okay, so all these are open. Okay, so we need to make these here back there we go wrong button there we go so put those there take some of these tiny ones that there one right here. Destroy this one. Now we can take this. And then we would need two walls. I think that's all. Yeah, just two walls. That one there. And there. There. And the last one. Okay, perfect. So then we can go ahead and take this door and right up against the wall. Open that one. Take this last one. Rotate it. And should be able to fit it right. Move that out. There we go. So, just one more time. There we go. So we got that one right there. Now if we take our glass door, this right here, close. Close, close, close. Now if we move these. Should open. There we go. Nice and flush. There we go. Alright, so now we have all the walls done. Um I'm gonna wrap it up for this video. It's been almost 40 minutes, and that's a little much for me usually. Uh, I'm just got the zone, I guess. Um, next video, I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish this um, elm roof, and then I might start doing the dark oak uh, slant roof. For that, I'll probably use one of the wedges. I might need to buy a new wedge. Probably will. Um, anyways, I'm gonna. I can also start working on the second floor of the shop and clean up the base. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. As always, leave a like. Watch some more videos. Subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, see you guys next time.